Lesson 72, Triangles and Quadrilaterals. We've learned about line segments and angles. Well, when we put those together, we can create all sorts of shapes or figures. Figure is just the name that we use for a shape. For instance, three line segments put together make up a triangle. The line segments AB, BC, and AC here make up the three sides of this triangle. And then notice there are also three angles. There's angle A, angle B, and angle C. Every triangle has three sides and three angles. Tri actually means three. And we can call this triangle ABC. That's the way triangles are named. Here's another triangle. Two of the sides are KJ and JL. What's the third side of this triangle? Good. Two of the angles of this triangle are angles K and L. What's the third angle? That's right. So see, this triangle also has three sides and three angles. There can be triangles of all sorts of different shapes and sizes. Here are some more triangles. And there are also figures that have four sides and four angles, and those are actually called quadrilaterals. Quad means four, so that's where the name comes from. Here's an example of a quadrilateral. You see this figure has four sides. There's side AB, side BC, side CD, and side AD. And there are also four angles. There's angle A, angle B, angle C, and angle D. We can use these letters to name the quadrilateral. This is quadrilateral ABCD. Now quadrilaterals can also be of all different shapes and sizes. Here are a few more. Notice that every one of these has four sides and four angles. That's how we know that they're quadrilaterals. Now let me ask you a question. See these figures? Which of these is a quadrilateral? You got it. The study of figures like triangles and quadrilaterals is called geometry. You've probably heard that name. Geometry is an important area of math. You'll study it a lot more in the future.